Hi all, let's have a look at the Leela 30 network. This is rapidly improving at the moment. And this is a game, believe it or not, against Stockfish 9, which it played pretty well. Uh, so this is ID 31368 against Stockfish 9. Time control 10 minutes with a two second increment. No opening book. So let's have a look. E4 from Leela. We have the Sicilian defense and we go into the Nidorf variation, so like the Rolls Royce of all Sicilian defense openings, a6, bishop e3, pretty standard so far, e5, knight b3, bishop e7, and now knight d2. This is a slightly rare move, rarer than other mainstream alternatives. The most mainstream is f3, so bishop e6, queen d2, white casting queenside, white should have a small edge in theory. It's it's a very dynamic, aggressive game for both sides. So knight d2 is a very positional Karpovian style treatment for the knight to go to c4 to i the b6 square. So the bishop on e3 is being justified in this manner. b5 stopping that. Uh, white, uh, if black had played castling, then knight c4 as an example. It's a very Karpovian style position. a4 stopping b5, f3, and this position is where positional play I think is the major order of the day. G4 is like more positionally oriented for that D5 control. This is an example continuation to try and uh, improve the centralization of the white pieces. So white should end up better in this sort of continuation. So you can see the whole strategy kind of working out well here. So anyway B5 was played stopping this kind of stuff a4 and there is some concessions now for black on the light squares after b4 you can see that these light squares have been slightly weakened and also the structure is more likely to be diced if you look at this pawn structure it's more likely to be isolated we see knight d5 knight takes d5 uh, was played on black castling knight b6 is just losing material bang knight takes c8 and that bishop is looking at the a7 rook so that's winning material so the knight's actually taken uh, we have a5 and with this structure any c3 if takes will get an isolated a pawn just bear that in mind uh, bishop b5 though very interesting move just going into those light squares knight d7 knight c4 looking at a5 now already as well as b6 so there seems to be a real iron grip on the position emerging here with the possibility also of bishop c6 both sides castle uh, in fact in this position here this has been seen in a high level over the board game before this exact position with bishop c6 being played immediately rook a6 this occurred in safari safari who's a 26 4 5 grandmaster against guliev 2 4 9 in the next year in uh, tournament of 2012 so if you want to check out the pinned comments, yeah, this has been seen before, before this exact position with bishop c6. But here, castling, uh, we have the aggressive f5 from Stockfish. f3, queen c7, c3. Yeah, this isolation of pawns looks likely to occur soon. Bishop a6, queen e2, and it occurs here. Leader is not minding the double pawns because there'll be even more pressure frontally on a5 we have b takes c3 and if you look at black's pawn structure now it has a look been a little bit diced after b takes there is an a5 pawn isolated now <clears throat> uh, if instead king h8 then taking here and knight takes e5 and exposes uh, an attack on a6 so this is kind of tricks they need to be factored in as well so b takes for the moment b takes and now knight c5 uh, here if bishop takes b5 a takes yes there is frontal pressure on a5 rook a4 for example this position then a5 can be taken uh, with a nice little tactic of b6 here interrupting the protection of the rook so that'd be winning some material so uh, knight c5, king h1, rook fb8, knight a3. And you can see that leader has established quite a magnificent grip 
on this position on the b5 square a tactic like knight takes a4 there's bishop takes a6 as an example there's no way of exploiting that pinned uh, bishop here it seems if we take the we can take here so it seems safe enough this reinforcement we have g6 being played on bishop takes b5 knight takes this again it looks like why it can actually continue with a light square attack on this side of the board for example like this reinforcing b5 it seems a very pleasant position indeed with white being significantly better <clears throat> so we have g6 c4 yes it does seem like the light stress light square grip strategy has blossomed uh, I think Karpov would be very happy with this game so far uh, the counterplay removal on the Queen side uh, it's pretty devoid of this typical Sicilian defense counterplay the Bishop here is not looking that great but the Bishop on a6 not even both of them look a little bit as though they're locked in a bit Bishop b7 we have Knight b1 white improved this piece now Knight b3 rook a3 so this was a little bit pointless there it seems Knight d2 97 knight b3 black is like being pushed back with these operations uh, knight f6 bishop d2 targeting a5 so black's also i guess got to be watching out for things like this as well bishop d8 we have rook a a1 rook c8 rook fd1 king h8 rook a c1 h5 um now here actually f4 was played now e takes f4 was played in this position if e4 this gives up the d4 square so knight d4 and the knight is pouncing into e6 that's pretty nasty white's got a big advantage so yeah stockfish took on f4 here bishop takes queen e7 queen b2 it's really a magnificent position now and it looks as though in fact now that the counterplay is kind of being locked down on the queen side, it seems Lila's turning her attention to the king side, and there is a lot of weaknesses to exploit, especially that e6 square seems very sensitive. King h7, rook e1, and in desperation, it seems, knight e4 is played. Uh, this looks like a, you don't really want to go into self pins. Queen f7, for example, knight d2, this position is very pleasant for white d6 is a good good target and for example like this the knight is aggressive and there's tactics like this now uh quite magnificent to undermine c5 if knight takes then there's queen takes c5 and uh if bishop takes then there's rook takes e4 with the idea of knight g5 check so black is very fragile as this this kind of shows uh, so knight e4 we have knight d2 it's yeah the self pin is being tortured now queen h4 and this is just looking very nasty now if the knight takes queen takes knight f6 check and here black gives up the dark square bishop and so the king side has now been compromised as well with a big idea of rookie seven check the tech technical issue though is this this hanging rook after now Stockfish plays bishop takes d5 here. On, for example, rook g8, check, and then rook g1. This is winning for white, it seems. For example, like this. Uh, black's not really doing anything here. With the bishop attacked, it's a pretty humble position. White can actually just even take time to snatch a5 and then come back. Uh, so this, this is kind of black's just losing all the pawns here uh, for no compensation at all white's just got a huge iron grip on the position so actually bishop takes d5 looks a little bit on the desperate side we have check and now rook c e1 and there's nowhere it seems for the bishop to go here on bishop e4 then just rook takes e4 and then can't take the queen so where does the bishop go if bishop takes c4 then taking and then check and then rook e6 and there's no easy way of defending g6 so for example here there's g3 check winning the queen and on king g4 
then it then there's rook takes g6 queen a6 absolutely winning so leader's actually broken in now to the king side this seems like a very desperate peace sack bishop takes g2 is played king takes check the thing is these checks can run out Lila's a bit playful here as though as though it's a perpetual check scenario but finds now king f2 which escapes the checks really fundamentally rook g8 we have h4 and white is ready to cash out into the end game now a bishop up yeah it seems as though stockfish didn't really generate much counterplay in this game so there's a bishop down here let's have a look at the technique now so g6 taken so the pawns are all kind of fragmented there's four different pawn islands down so it's a bit difficult here to play with the bishop down it's easier to attack these pawns or round them up and let's see what happens so that one drops the bishop is locking down everything still now yeah all the pawns are really going here king comes over to assist taking d6 and b6 is going to drop yep stockfish has been mopped up adjudicated here as a win for white so i thought it was quite a fascinating karpovian style game with the queen side totally locked down and then work on the king side after black had committed pawns as though there was some sort of attacking intent but it just became much easier to break into on the king side later uh, i hope you enjoyed this positional game as much as me uh, if you did uh, please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net uh, you can play against other youtubers you can check the analysis of this and other games from the improved menu learn from the masters and update updated analysis updates could appear uh, comments questions donations see the description likes shares subscribes and the notification bell all very appreciated thanks very much